warm-hearted viewers, hello and welcome to Golden Age Technology, here on Supreme Master Television. Today, we return to the beautiful coastal city of Brighton, England, for the second part of a two-part program, Profiling Earthship Brighton. A proud project of the UK-based non-profit organisation, the Low Carbon Trust, the Earthship Brighton was constructed in 2005 to serve as a model of how we can live in a less carbon intensive manner and thus help reduce climate change. Situated in the historic and picturesque setting of Stanmer Park on the outskirts of Brighton City, the praiseworthy structure has garnered a variety of sustainability awards. As a community centre, it attracts many visitors throughout the year and a variety of informative workshops on eco-friendly living and building are held on site. Let us now take a look around the building's various facilities with our knowledgeable and friendly host, Misha Hewitt, Project Manager for Earthship Brighton. This room here is actually the sort of meeting room, it's the kind of focal room of the building and this is where we hold lots of meetings and run lots of workshops and lectures and you can see that there's lots and lots of glass on the south face and that's great because it lets in lots of light so it's kind of sort of naturally light area and also that lets in lots of sunlight so that's the way that it flows into the building and heats the walls. Also we've got this here, you can see this trough with all of these plants in. This is a grey water planter and all of the waste water that we're producing from the kitchen and the bathroom flows through this and the roots of the plants go down into a big gravel bed and that water flows through and it just gets cleaned up by all of the microbes and various other things that are living in there. Earthship Brighton uses a variety of sources to meet its energy needs, including a wood pellet stove that cleanly burns compressed sawdust from carpentry shops, thus giving new life to what is normally considered a waste product. In one school in Durham, England, a coal-fired boiler used for heating was replaced with wood pellet heating, thus avoiding 190 tonnes of carbon emissions a year. What we've got here is the uh, wood pellet stove and it runs on these things here, which are wood pellets and you can get some out, there you go and uh, they go in the hopper here and then there's a little channel that runs down to this burn box here and the pellets just trickle out through here and there's a heating element underneath and a little fan on one side so the heating element heats up the, the pellets and combusts them and then the fan provides them with a sort of constant stream of oxygen and then you get a really, really good output. And the thing that's good about it is because you know exactly how wet the, the pellets are, it's really, really efficient and you only burn a few at a time. So a big hopper like that will last a long time and you get from a very small amount of wood a lot of heat. So yeah, it's just a very, very efficient way of burning, uh, burning wood. And this, this particular machine, we use it for heating our hot water um, and typically we would use it probably from between about November and, and March and because we've got the solar thermal system as well. Another sustainable design technique utilised by Earthship Brighton are glass bottle walls. These types of walls are commonly found in other Earthships that have been built throughout the world. What we've got here is a glass bottle brick and it's very easy to make. You just get a couple of bottles and you cut them up and then you can tape them together and you can get them in lots of different colours, green, clear, blue, and even red, and um, you just make little bricks from them, and you pop them together in rows, and then you can make lovely walls from them like these, and they're fantastic because you're reusing lots of waste, and they also let lots of light through. Now we head up to the roof to learn how effective air circulation can reduce the amount of energy used for heating and cooling in a structure. Here we've got these low set windows. If we open them and we open the high set skylights at the back, because these are very low to the ground, the air that they draw in is very cool and because the skylights at the back of the building are high up at the top, it means that the hot air in the building rises 
and escapes through the skylights and at the same time it draws cooler air in through this at low level. So it's a very, very good way of ventilating the building when it's very warm in summer. So that's why it's there. After the following brief message, we will continue our tour of Earthship Brighton and learn more about the outstanding green technologies used to make it an Earth-friendly building. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Golden Age Technology. Earthship Brighton is an award-winning eco-building nestled within the natural settings of Stamner Park on the outskirts of Brighton, England. The very first Earthship was built in New Mexico, USA by visionary green architect Michael Reynolds in the late 1980s. Today, there are thousands of Earthships that have been constructed across the globe, including Earthship Brighton, the first Earthship in all of England. We now continue our informative tour of the building with project manager Misha Hewitt, who will show the resourceful methods employed to harvest some of the abundant English rainfall. The idea with the roof is very, very simple. The rain just falls down onto the roof and the area of the roof is about 125 square meters and the rain falls down onto the roof and then it just flows down into the central gully that just runs along there. And then it comes through and it goes through this bed of gravel here. And this is the first kind of filtration that the actual water gets. It's a very, very simple filter. I mean, it's just a bed of gravel and it takes out silt and leaves and twigs and other bits and pieces. And then from there, the water flows through to this. And this is actually a vortex filter. The water flows through and it comes and hits this. And as it hits it, the water flows round and the heavier bits of the water, those with sediment in, just flow straight through and out. And the rest of the water flows into our four tanks. And each one of those tanks is about 5,000 litres in capacity. So we can store about 20,000 litres of water. And this system is much bigger than what you would usually find in a domestic rainwater harvesting situation. Um, but because we're off grid here, this is the only water that we have. So it's really, really important that we have enough to supply us at all points during the year. And then from there, there's a pipe that runs through and then goes down into the building. And then we've got a filtration unit inside the building that actually cleans and purifies the water. Yeah, let's walk down here and have a look at the sewage treatment system. All of the waste water that flows from the building comes straight down a little pipe and it comes to here and this is a septic tank. And the waste water that goes into there just separates out, gravity pulls the heavier stuff down to the bottom and the lighter stuff floats to the top. And the liquid then overflows to this which is a horizontal flow reed bed. And the idea is that we have a pipe set at one end that is 100 millimetres higher than the pipe set at the other. And the waste water flows straight through this and there are lots and lots of bacteria and microorganisms living in there just munching away on all of the sewage that flows through and the plants and the reeds, their roots go down into it to provide more and more um, oxygen for the bacteria to just munch away and they clean our water up for us so by the time it leaves the system at the end it's just cleaned up and it just returns naturally and harmlessly to nature so it's quite a holistic kind of water system. To provide hot water and electricity, the building relies primarily on solar panels. Earthship Brighton generates enough electricity to meet all of its needs and thus is off-grid or entirely independent of the local electrical utility. Here we've got two different types of solar panel. These are solar thermal panels and they're there for collecting hot water and these are solar electric panels, so they're here for harvesting the sunlight and turning it into electricity. And this system's very, very simple. It's called a flat plate collector. It's got a big flat area that's quite a large surface area, and then you've got very, very thin little veins that run through it, 
and over this whole area you've probably got a couple of litres of water so you're maximising the amount of energy that can be exchanged from the sun that's coming down and shining on the panel into heating the water and there's a little temperature sensor and as soon as the water reaches the temperature you want the valves open and that water flows out and the next lot comes in, the two valves lock off and it just keeps repeating. And it's a fantastic technology, it provides hot water for probably six to eight months of the year. This is a different type of solar panel and this is the type that we're using for generating electricity. There are different types of solar panels and these ones are one of the more inefficient um, but the reason we have them is they're very, very flexible, they're very robust. We've been very, very impressed with, with these panels and the amount of energy they've given us over the years. Thank you Project Manager Misha Hewitt for taking the time to speak with us and for your insightful tour. Kudos to the Low Carbon Trust for creating this invaluable environmental project and to all staff and volunteers for your diligent efforts and enthusiasm that has been put into Earthship Brighton's construction and maintenance. Undoubtedly, your community centre and the workshops offered are encouraging many people to strive towards greener living, including perhaps constructing their own Earthships in the future. For more details on Earthship Brighton, please visit www.lowcarbon.co.uk Information about the Earthship movement is also available at www.earthship.com Kind viewers, it was an honour to have your company today on Golden Age Technology. Next is vegetarianism, the noble way of living, following noteworthy news. May your constructive efforts to preserve our environment meet with the most success. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash G-A-T.